I'm Jeremy Walger, President and CEO of the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, or should I say Picklesburg Downtown Partnership, because we've turned downtown Pittsburgh into Picklesburg this year. 70 vendors on the 9th Street Bridge and along the bypass have brought all things pickle to the heart of the city. We're thrilled to welcome thousands of folks into the city to celebrate what's just a beautiful community event. Whether you're here for the kimchi, a classic dill, or some questionably delicious pickled beer, we've got it all here. And it's just such a great opportunity to welcome the region back into the city and celebrate like only Pittsburgh can. You can talk to me too if you want. Just tell me what you're doing, who okay. you are, or whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Yeah, we're uh, making small cheese here every year for the last uh, seven events. Uh, we use local bread from Greensburg or Bakery in Greensburg. Uh, we use cheese from uh, a local uh, local bakery, Clover Creek Cheese Cellar in Blair County. Uh, our own our own sauces and jam and condiments, including our kimchi. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching. And you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV.
3,500 in the three days of the festival. Maple apple pie jam. Crispy bacon in there. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching. And you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV.
Okay, go ahead. So the Apple Pie Jam we came up with for Apple Festival in Del Mar. We wanted to feature, you know, we wanted to make a grocery sandwich featuring apples. So we did that with the bacon. Uh, we've done the kimchi here since the year, first year, along with uh, our one with the dill pickle relish. So we just kind of experiment with the stuff that we're making for our regular pickle line and then just kind of figure out how to get on the sandwich. Best sandwich. Uh, I think our best sandwich we're not even doing here. Uh, it's a uh, it's a margarita style, so we make a pesto and add it to an aioli and uh, put in the grilled cheese with fresh tomatoes. So I think it's like. Have here today. He said the, the bacon is the most popular and the kimchi is the best one here today. And of course, you know how to get the, the bacon with the kimchi. So uh, I'm over here with the kimchi chef, and I got a I got a kimchi and uh, bacon sandwich, and it's just freshly off the grill. And we're gonna try it out. There's kimchi chef right there making some more sandwiches. We take a bite of this and see what it tastes like. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching. And you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. So if you come to the Pickle Fest and this year or any year, make sure you stop at the uh, Pickle Chef and get one of these sandwiches. Look at that. It's dripping, it's so juicy. They are amazing, amazing. Hi, I'm Stacy from Uncle Bunks. We're a family owned business from Sistersville, West Virginia. My dad is Uncle Bunk, and we've been making these products for 18 years. We have a 14 day sweet pickle and a 14 day hot sweet pickle. And the 
14 day actually means that they take 14 days to make. So the 14 days in the brine and then in the juice and then we actually can them. So you don't have to eat them in 14 days but you know you probably will. <clears throat> we also make mustard and pepper sauce. So we have a mustard I gotta stop touching this stuff. Okay, we got a rustic pepper sauce and our mustard relish. And these are my great grandmother's recipes. My dad, again, like I said, is Uncle Bunk. Um, and we've been making these products for 18 years. From Sistersville, West Virginia, um, we all of our products can be found online at unclebunks.com. Uh, you can always give us a call or send us an order via email or order online. You can also like us on Facebook or um, see us on Instagram, Uncle Bunks WV, and Uncle on Facebook is just Uncle Bunks. Come try our products. Picklesburg is fantastic. <laughs> I was about to ask, just tell me a little bit about Picklesburg and how long you've been here. Okay, this is our fourth year at Picklesburg. Um, we've done fantastic, our, our line never ends, so we do a really great job. Picklesburg is the biggest festival that we do, and it's our favorite festival. So come out and see us. And how do you, how do you uh, like doing Picklesburg? Okay. Okay. All right, Picklesburg is our favorite festival. Um, it's the most fun. The crowd is the most enthusiastic of any festival we go to, and the um, the staff is amazing. So it's a really well-run festival. And uh, about how much product do you go through at a festival like Picklesburg? We go through gallons of pickle samples, so much bigger than this jar of samples cut up and ready to ready to sample, and then. We've already gone through half the dips we brought, so we're going to make more this evening. So you guys will have dip tomorrow. And then when it comes to how many cases do we go through, just of the jarred products, we brought, we brought over 150 cases of jarred products, so pickles, mustard, pepper sauce, and then probably 600 of the stuff, the products that we have in bags, so we have spices and seasonings and chili in a bag. So what are you doing here today? Pickle beer, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pickles, love pickles. Oh, man. So what, what's, uh, what's, the fav what's your favorite thing that you've seen here today? Um, we got here not too long ago, but we're very excited for some pickle beer. We're all like fresh and 21, so. <laughs> and the pickle balloon. I really want to see that. The pickle moonshine got my attention. Uh, cool, 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 cool. So did you try anything yet? Not yet. No, we're just still looking around. Right, cool, yeah, cool, cool, excited cool. to see what and the pickled grilled cheese. Oh, pickled grilled yeah. cheese. Very hungry. Pickled grilled cheese is cool. on our list, too. So. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching and you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV.
Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching. And you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. So how long have you been in business? Um, we have been doing the Pittsburgh Irish Festival for 32 years, um, and we're doing Ideal Pickle. This is our sixth year participating with Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership. Cool. And you have a location here in Pittsburgh? Uh, we do not. No. So we did the Pittsburgh Irish Festival, which is in September. We're a nonprofit organization, and we do Picklesburg every year as a vendor, no brick and mortar location, uh, to support our nonprofit. And uh, what, how do we find out about your nonprofit? Uh, PGHIrishFest.org. Okay. And uh, what's some of the some of the food that you have here today? Um, so we've got all different kinds of pickles. Um, some wrapped with bacon, some stuff with cheese, some with hot dogs, some with cheese and hot dogs, some with cheese and bacon, some with bacon and hot dogs, and um, also just a plain plain good old pickle on a stick. So what do you like the best out of everything? Uh, you got? I'm a I'm a par I'm partial to the bacon. Uh, yeah, bacon wrapped pickle. Cool. And how do you make that? Uh, so we take a pickle and we wrap bacon around with toothpicks and we fry it. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, can you can I see one? Yeah, yeah. Can you give me one? So we got this. This is a pickle uh, with mozzarella cheese uh, wrapped in an egg roll. Uh, I got two different sauces to, to try it with and plain. And this is a drink, green drink from uh, the Ideal. And they both came from the Ideal Pickle. Yeah, we're gonna try it out and see how see how it goes, all right? Let's see. Try to drink first. Tastes good? Tastes not bad? Now for a fried pickle. Check it out. It looks pretty good. Mm. But look, they hollowed out the pickle and stuffed it with mozzarella cheese. Then wrapped it in an egg roll. That's pretty, that's really good. That's cheesy and pickled. Let's see what else we can eat. Let's go ahead. This year we have a Suntory Japanese Whiskey Toki Highball with a, a lemon a pickle. pickled wedge, our house made Bloody Mary mix. We have a white sangria with cruisin rum, fresh juices, white wine. Here we have a pickled watermelon margarita with carnitos, fresh watermelon, a pickled watermelon rind. And we have a cucumber refresher, which is fresh juice cucumber, haku vodka, pickle brine, and citrus. Ready? Yeah. Let me know when you're ready and I'll be ready. Wait, 
you gotta try this one. This is the oh, no, recipe no, no, I'm, I'm, I made. I'm, I'm done. No, you tried an old one. Do you? Thank you for watching this video of Pittsburgh Events. To watch this video again or any other video from Pittsburgh Events, you can go to the YouTube channel. It's 18 Rico. It's youtube.com forward slash 18RICCO. Again, thank you for watching. And you can check out this video and any other video from Pittsburgh Events and many other videos that didn't make it on TV. Hi, I'm Spencer Warren from the Warren Bar and Borough on 7th and Liberty in downtown Pittsburgh. I'm going to have our chef Connor here describe our foods for Picklesburg and hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Connor Miller. I'm the executive chef down at the Warren Bar and Borough. Uh, right here we have a uh, Carolina a Carolina pork slider. It's a uh, pickle brine barbecue butt. Uh, we go for six hours, slow roasted, topped with pickled onions. We also have a fried pickle skewer. Uh, oh my God, it's a He's got fried pickles with a Bloody Mary aioli from our house made Bloody Mary mix. He messed up because he forgot that he made that. Uh, we have a Cuban egg roll. Uh, it's stuffed with all the fillings that you would get in a uh, Cuban sandwich with a Dijonese. And then we have a pickled green strawberry ceviche served with tortilla chips. That shrimp ceviche. <laughs> I'm on a bender. He so loves tell, TV. He's been on a long three or four <laughs> days, and he's not used to this. So tell me a little bit about uh, why you wanted to do Pickle Fest. Uh, so we've done Picklesburg. This is our fifth year of doing Picklesburg. We love it. Uh, it lets our chef be a little more creative and different style of things, uh, along with our bar crew as well. Um, and it's just busy, fun, chaos is what we love with all of this. Um, yeah, it's just very enjoyable, and it can, lets, like I said, it lets us do some other different things that we don't normally do at our restaurant. We always have something pickled on our menu, but now we get to expand it much, much, much brighter. So how did, how did you uh, enjoy Pickle Fest uh, this year? This year was great. It's a little chaos other than the rain. Um, it's been chaotic. We're down underneath the overpass, which is very different than years past. We were on the bridge and going across. Uh, but it's worked. It made it help to expand so the place is a little bigger and gets more people down here. And like, yesterday, I think they shut down everything because there were so many people between up and down below. So hope we do it again next year. Sorry, since I died. You should have had to taste this. All right, thank you. D minus. Thank you. So it's raining out here today at the Pickles Fest, but I still made it out here, so did a lot of other people. And I'm here at the Warren, and I'm eating one of their sliders, so let's try it out. Hmm. Pork slider with uh, pickled onions. It's really good, really good. You gotta love the sliders. <laughs> no, I got this fried pickle. I'm gonna see how that tastes. First time I ever ate a fried pickle, but it's pretty damn good. I'm gonna try the egg roll now. I'm not gonna lie, that thing smells so good. You can take Amazing. If you missed Pickle Fest this year, put it on the calendar for next year. Who's amazing? Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more videos on subjects like this and many other topics. Please leave any comments in the in the comment section. Any questions or comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.